it's a special day to be focused on Europe. No question. Mario Draghi set the bar high himself, saying he would do whatever it takes to save the euro. And trust me, that would be enough. Now everybody's writing about what the ECB can do. Some criticism around the European Central Bank plan to buy bonds. What stood out to me, Gavin Davies in the Financial Times today, he writes, the ECB is adopting the crisis role of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. He says the final outcome will be determined by whether it has the political will to sustain the course in the context of the larger extra dose of IMF-like help Baloney. which the ECB will make Baloney. available they're not the IMF. this week. They're not the IMF. They're a central bank. And the entire credibility issue of this young central bank, it's only 13 years old, is Are we being wanna, tested. Can we do an eight-hour surveillance today, keep Michael Spence here <laughs> do, all day? You don't have to ask me. You know Let's I'm game for that. Save us, <laughs> Scarlett. What do you have? It's not just the ECB's credibility at stake. It's Mario Draghi's. But if you look at the markets right now, hope is certainly alive heading into the announcement mm -hmm. with the risky assets all being bid up. The question is, is this time any different? Market watchers like Bill Blaine, formerly of New Edge Capital, now the senior market strategist at Mint Partners in London, says no. He writes, this latest draggy conjury trick will have <coughs> limited longevity. It might allow the euro to stumble on for a few more months. After that, reality will take over. We'll be back in full crisis mode. He says the time frame of effectiveness <coughs> for what the ECB right. will announce today is one week to three months tops.